types of uh, immunity types of immunity so there are two types of immunity so in that first one is innate immunity innate second one is acquired immunity acquired so let's see that innate immunity innate immunity so here the def defense or resistance resistance is developed from the birth developed from the developed or obtained through the birth is called as innate immunity so it is derived from or obtained from the parents to the parents to the young ones okay it is non specific it is non specific so this innate immunity is also called as natural immunity natural immunity right so uh, when we uh, get this in a type of innate immunity so the immunity uh, operates the some of the uh, barriers uh, like that uh, they are what that c1 here so first one is physical and physical and mechanical mechanical barriers next physiological physiological logical barriers next cellular barriers and fourth one is cytokine barriers okay so let's see that physical barriers here the physical and mechanical mechanical barriers are includes that skin mucous membrane <coughs> mucous membrane cilia sneezing and coughing so the physical barriers are skin mucous membrane cilia sneezing and coughing so let's see that sneezing our first one is skin skin it is the very good barrier okay right and second point is it hides the one of the outer layer that is stratum stratum cornea corneum stratum corneum so it is helps to or it is obstacle for the obstacle for the entering of the microorganisms okay right next uh, suppose if any cases uh, the uh, losses of skin due to the burst so then immediately the infection <coughs> uh, causes are uh, occurred quickly so because uh, the microorganisms get enter into the uh, body through this region so uh, take careful and next uh, mucus membrane mucus membrane so generally the mucus membrane is present at the nasal cavities nasal cavities and respiratory tracts resp respiratory tracts so suppose if there any pathogen or microorganisms enters into these regions in that uh, these mucus membranes which helps to <coughs> 
drive out or went out the body outside so with the help of sticky nature sticky nature so it hides the sticky nature then it trapping the microorganisms in this regions okay next cilia cilia third one is the cilia are present on the <coughs> nose and isolates upper areas of skin so here <coughs> the cilia are trap the microorganisms when they are entering into the body okay right next sneezing and coughing sneezing coughing so they are the mechanical barriers see that <coughs> sneezing so they are the suppose if there are any um, uh, microorganisms are entering into the uh, digestive tract and uh, respiratory tract uh, these sneezing and coughing will helps to drive out of these organs drive out of these organs okay right so next uh, physiological barriers physiological barriers physiological barriers physiological barriers so the <coughs> secretions of the body is uh, generally hcl in stomach hcl in stomach and next uh, then or that uh, saliva in mouth and next uh, tears uh, from the eyes they are the physical barriers which prevents the entry of microorganisms okay All right next cellular barriers cellular barriers see here some of the cellular barriers examples are polymorpho mononuclear monocytes lymphocytes lymphocytes macrophages macrophages and natural killer cells are the cellular barriers okay next cytokine barriers so here are the cellular barriers which are involved in the cells inside of the cells okay and next uh, uh cytokine barriers cytokine barriers so the cytokines are such as interferons interferons which protect from the non infected non infected cells from the infected cells right so the cytokine in barriers are such as interferons so they are helps to uh, protect the non infected cells from the infected cells okay next acquired immunity <coughs> acquired immunity so this acquired immunity here the defense or resistance obtained after the birth after the birth right so there is no derived or there is no entered from the or entered from the parents to the pupil or child pupil or child okay right so it develops once in once in lifetime once in lifetime so they are antigen specific they are antigen specific antigen specific so because they are characterized by the immunological memory immuno 
logical memory. Suppose if any uh, our body engulfed to the any pathogen, then immediately our body will re, uh, will response to produce the one immune response that is called as primary immune response. Primary immune response. So this primary immune response has less intensity, less intensity and uh, it is varies from one person to another person it is varies from person to person person to person okay so next generally the acquired immunity is divided into or split into two types they are <coughs> active immunity active acquired immunity and second one is passive acquired immunity so let's see that active acquired immunity active acquired immunity so here the defense or immune response or uh, developed in individual due to the production of antibodies due to the production of antibodies so they are called as active acquired immunity so it is long life immunity long life immunity so it takes too much time it takes several uh, days to fully function fully function okay so again these active acquired immunity subdivided into two parts so they are natural active acquired immunity and artificial ac active acquired immunity see this one natural active acquired immunity natural active acquired immunity natural active acquired immunity right so it is the here the immune response or defense defense developed in the any individual by getting the any uh, inf any infection any infection suppose listen here uh, suppose if our body gets any uh, diseases like here smallpox chickenpox and uh, measles so after the recovery of these diseases the immune response will develop okay so that that is the natural uh, attractive ac acquired immunity okay suppose examples are measles chickenpox and uh, small box okay all right next active acquired immunity active acquired uh, sorry what is that artificial artificial acquired attractive or attractive attractive acquired immunity okay artificial attractive acquired immunity 